Hello and welcome back to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. I hope you've had a good Christmas and looking forward to a good new year. I know we are too for 2016 and we're wishing you the best possible year ahead. Right, so last year we showed you how to undo a flange with a rather expensive tool and a breaker bar, okay? Now this basically, all it does is hold the flange in place while you undo the nuts. Just for reference, the number is 18G1205, which is made by Churchill Tools. This is generally found in Land Rover franchise garages. Right, so another way to do it, which is possibly the cheapest, is to use a lever bar, um, hold some studs, and then do up or undo your nut. And these nuts are nearly 200 newton meters, so they're quite tight. If you're dedicated enough to have a compressor and uh, an air gun, then air guns will actually crack off nuts if they're high powered enough. The downside is, is these consume a rather a large amount of compressed air. Introducing the power bar hand impact wrench, which is PM1283, which is a very nice present from Paddock, Land Rover Spares and Accessories, thank you very much. I've tried this out actually over the last few months and found it very, very useful. Basically, it is a very slow impact wrench and it does deliver power. You are whacking it at an angle which will turn the nut. You will also find that this power bar has a multiple of uses. The nut that's on this flange, as you can see, is actually quite tight, so I'm having to use this piece of kit to remove it. Using the impact power bar, you can see that it's turning the nut and the drum on the transfer box is still static. Right, so here's a little bit of education for the unknown. This is a hammer and it has a handle. You do not hold it up here for tapping, especially since you have a long handle. Now, the idea is to get the most of a swing when you're knocking something, so you hold it on the end of the handle when you're using a hammer. Right. So that's lecture over. Okay, so anyway, back to the plot. With this tool, you need to find out for yourself which the best angle is to get the most power to turn the socket. Like with air-powered wrenches, you need impact sockets. You do not use normal sockets with this power bar. This one is 30 millimeters. Now this is quite battered. I've been using it for quite a few years, 30 millimeters, which is the size of the nut on the flange of the transfer box. Okay, so basically this is a very thick walled socket and I'd advise that you use thick walled sockets whenever you used impact equipment. Okay, Snap-on always give you a warning to wear safety goggles when using sockets like this because they do shatter. You can see this one, I was going to show you how to do the 300 TDI um, dog nut, but it cracked the socket. I'd always advise to buy best quality that you can get for the money for the jobs that you're going to do on your Land Rover. Now this has had 20 years of use, and you can see by the top that's about the only place it's actually battered. It hasn't cracked as of, as of yet. Okay, when we had this tool delivered, this pivot joint here was loose, or it kept coming loose, so I put some thread lock in it. What you'll notice underneath, which is a bonus, is the pivot itself has a circlip in it, so it's not totally dependent on the bolt at the top. But I would advise you buy one of these, put a little bit of thread lock in, it will stop it from coming undone constantly. But that is there to lock it in one position only. So in summary, this is a very robust tool. On the end here, you have something to protect your hand whilst using a hammer, just like you would a bolster chisel, for instance. This stops the uh, hammer whacking your hand because you do put some force behind it. The swivel head part is robust enough to uh, suffer quite a bit of abuse. And it's worth while having one of these in your toolbox to get you out of trouble especially when you have a power cut, for instance. The only vulnerable part is the driver here, which is replaceable. 